Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concept. So in this video, we are going to discuss some industrially important microbes or microorganisms. Okay. So I'm not going to discuss screening and isolation because in case of uh, secondary metabolites, already a uh, video is uploaded for screening and isolation of industrially important microbes for secondary metabolites. In that video, I have uh, mentioned about screening and isolation. So here we are just going to focus on the list of microbes, the list of products for which they are used, how they are uh, beneficial, are there any disadvantages or not, okay? Everything in this small video, okay? So let's start. So um, this is going to be an overview of industrially important microbes, which are categorized by field and product along with the advantages and potential disadvantages, okay? That is how I have uh, listed everything here. So, uh, first one is food and beverage industry. So, very commonly used microbe that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae is yeast. Okay, it is an yeast which we use commonly in bread making, beer, wine, and ethanol production. Also, what are the advantages of using Saccharomyces cerevisiae? It is efficient. Uh, in fermentation, converting sugars in alcohols and CO2. Okay, uh, we are using its metabolism here to generate uh, beer, wine, ethanol, and uh, to have that flavor in bread. Okay, to have that uh, soft uh, leaven leavening in bread. Okay, so uh, even another advantage here is it can be genetically manipulated for higher yields and for specific byproducts as well. Are there any disadvantages? So yes, each and every thing has disadvantages, right? So here also Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the disadvantage is that it needs strict control over fermentation conditions like pH, temperature, etc. And it can be contaminated by other unwanted microbes like lactobacillus, okay? So that is what the problem may occur otherwise it is good it is very efficient and it can be genetically modified for higher yields next one is lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus thermophilus now they are used mainly in dairy products and for yogurt uh, manufacturing what are the advantages so they produce lactic acid okay uh, lowering ph then acting as a preservative they provide health benefits such as promoting gut health okay these are the advantages so even yogurt or few dairy products we consider them as um, probiotic right so they are very high in demand they are nutritious and that's why we consume them now the disadvantage here is they require specific conditions for optimal growth potential for contamination with other bacteria that may spoil the products because they have moisture they have high nutrients so if anything goes wrong the product these products they may get easily spoiled by other microbes okay so this was about lactobacillus bulgaricus third one is penicillium species now um, different kinds of cheese we study in microbiology right so i'm going to just uh, list here as cheese for example blue cheese or camembert and there are different different uh, fungal species which are used for cheese making so we are just going to list here about penicillium because it is easy to remember advantage is it, it creates distinct flavor and texture by breaking down the fats and proteins and disadvantages is not all penicillium are beneficial some are pathogenic um, uh, they produce mycotoxins so we are not uh, using them or even we can't use them because they are harmful for humankind now about pharmaceutical industry so here also you can see we have another penicillium so that is penicillium chrysogenum formerly it was known as penicillium notatum okay now it is famous it is a common example that we use it for antibiotic production that is penicillin. Now it works against cell wall. Okay, it breaks the cell wall formation. 
in uh, microbes, right? Other microbes. So advantages is it is highly effective against wide range of bacterial infections. One of the first and most common antibiotics, okay? And disadvantages is that some microbes, they have developed resistance like MRSA, methicillin resistance, Staphylococcus aureus, and allergic reactions in some individuals to penicillin is seen. So that is disadvantage of penicillin, uh, penicillium pricogena. Now, another commonly used fungi, uh, sorry, uh, actinomycete in antibiotic production is streptomyces species. Now that can be streptomyces gracious or streptomyces uh, Venezuela. Now it, was, it is also used for antibiotic productions like chloramphenicol or streptomycin. Advantages produces diverse antibiotics effective against both gram positive, gram negative bacteria and can be used for novel drug development through genetic modifications. Disadvantages again, resistance in target organisms can develop or uh, toxic side effects in humans. Um, like nephrotoxicity with streptomycin is seen. Okay. Then third one is Escherichia coli, which is genetically modified strain, and we use it for recombinant protein uh, production, that is insulin or growth hormones. Advantage of using this genetically modified E. coli is uh, rapid growth, uh, easy genetic manipulation, cost effective production, etc. And disadvantages are may sometime produces it produces anti endotoxin which contaminates the uh, contamination risks which is the uh, product of bacterial cell wall and it has contamination risk okay it requires downstream processing for purifying uh, products okay this was about pharmaceuticals third is agriculture and biotechnology in agriculture and biotechnology, we have rhizobium species, right? Very commonly uh, and widely studied. Uh, even in our first year, second year, we are introduced to rhizobium species, right? It is a nitrogen fixing microbe and it is widely used in biofertilizers. What is the advantage? It increases the soil fertility by converting atmospheric nitrogen to the usable form for the plants reduces the dependency on chemical fertilizers, promoting the sustainable agriculture. Yes, there are disadvantages to this one as well. So effective of this uh, rhizobium fertilizer, it depends on the specific compatibility between a plant and a bacterial strain. Poor performance uh, in soils with low organic matter or pH imbalance can be seen, right? Then another one is bacillus thuringiensis. These, these all examples I have taken are very common, very easy. And um, we have already studied these here and there in our theories, right? So they're easy to remember. And uh, you don't have to um, by heart all these, right? Because they you can remember them as what is their role, what is their function, in which product they are used, advantages and disadvantages. That's it. And you can write this short note on industrially important microbes, right? Because yes, you get a question of three marks or max five marks on industrially important microbes. So this is how you can point out um, a particular field and you can list two to three examples uh, of microbes and their product and advantages at disadvantages, right? So next is bacillus thuringiensis, that is Bt. Uh, widely uh, used uh, or or a very common example to say is Bt cotton, Bt brinjal, right? So it is a biopesticide for cryotoxin against insect larvae. The advantage is it, it targets specific pests without harming the beneficial insects, okay? Environmental pests, so alternative to chemical pesticides. Disadvantage is that pests they can develop resistance over time and short shelf life or sensitivity to environmental factors like UV lights can be. Another one, Agrobacterium tumefaciens. So it is used in genetic engineering in plants, uh, used to transfer genes from into plant cells, right? So advantage is that enables the creation of genetically modified crops with 
uh, enhanced traits like pest resistance, herbicide tolerance, etc. And disadvantage is public concern over using these genetically modified, that is GMOs, and their impact on ecosystem and even on human health. Risk of horizontal gene transfer to other organisms as well. So see, very easy to remember and not that difficult to write in your exams as well. If you um, remember, if you learn all these examples with a trick. Environmental biotechnology. So in first example is Pseudomonas putida. Uh, we use this one in bioremediation to break down the pollutants like oil, phenols, and solvents. So the advantage of using Pseudomonas putida is it can metabolize a wide range of organic compounds, making it useful for cleaning up environmental contaminants. And the limitations or say disadvantages are uh, limited to certain environmental conditions like oxygen availability is masked because it is a aerobe. Okay, then it requires long term monitoring and maintenance because bioremediation, it, it can't just happen in one day or two day. It, it requires a long period of time. So that is the disadvantage. Then methanobacterium species, these we uh, study them in biogas production, right? Methane from organic waste. So advantages are, are uh, renewable energy sources from agricultural, industrial, or domestic waste. Uh, reduces greenhouse gas emissions compared to the fossil fuels. Okay. Disadvantages: methane leaks during production can contribute to greenhouse gases. Then complex infrastructure needed for biogas plant setup and maintenance, etc. Now, alkalisions, eutrophils is another one which we use in bioplastic or PBH, that is polyhydroxybutyrate, okay, uh, bioplastic production. So, advantages are biode biodegradable because it is bioplastic, right, and environmental friendly alternative to uh, petroleum based plastic. It reduces plastic pollution. Then disadvantages are uh, higher production cost compared to the conventional power plastic and limited mechanical properties for industrial applications. Okay, you can't use these bioplastics everywhere. Okay, that's the limitation. Next, we have leather industry. So here we use Bacillus acrylis and Aspergillus niger very commonly. So Bacillus is um gram positive and endospore forming bacteria so you can remember it likewise very common uh, species of bacillus so we use it for enzymes for fabric softening and leather processing advantages it produces uh, proteases lipase uh, used in biofinishing biopolishing of textiles more environment friendly than traditional chemical treatment these advantages are like it requires precise control of enzyme concentration, the conditions for that enzyme to work properly, and enzymatic treatments can also uh, can be less durable compared to the chemical treatments, right? Another one is Aspergillus niger. We use it for citric acid, right? We are we used uh, that is used in fabric and leather processing. So citric acid is a biodegradable and non-toxic alternative for harsh chemicals and uh, chemical acids and multi-use product uh, in other industries as well because citric acid is also used in foods and pharmaceuticals okay now disadvantage is overproduction of citric acid can cause metabolic burden on microbes uh, reducing the yield so strict control over the parameters constant testing for the level of uh, citric acid produced, etc. It requires extensive downstream purification as well. Okay. And last field is energy production. Energy production, by that I mean here, uh, acetone, butane, and ethanol, commonly known as ABE fermentation. So Clostridium acetobutylicum is um, microbe that we use here in bacteria that we use here so historically it is used for biofuel production reducing 
dependency on the petroleum is the first advantage and another advantage is butanol is less corrosive and has high energy potent uh, content compared to the ethanol okay and uh, and and disadvantages are it um, requires strict anaerobic condition because this particular bacteria is anaerobic so very difficult to strictly manage anaerobic conditions making large scale production very complex okay and low yield compared to the other fermentation processes it gives low yield is the disadvantages but yes we can find some alternatives we can do research to improve this problem as well okay so i hope uh, all these examples products they are useful to you uh, they are very easy to remember and i hope now you can write your short note very well right so do like my video do share my video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified on each new video that i upload thank you for watching